Imagine flying aboard the space shuttle. The main engines fire, then with a powerful jolt, the solid rocket motors ignite. The acceleration and intense pull of gravity during ascent is tremendous, but when the main engines cut off and the shuttle reaches orbit, the crew enter a totally new environment. And in this weightless environment, about three quarters of first-time space travelers feel ill. To help counter this, NASA has developed a pre-flight training regime for the astronauts. They have a neurosciences laboratory at the Johnson Space Center, which is responsible for studying the human body's condition in space. They can also develop better systems to maximize the astronauts' performance. Shuttle missions lasted normally for about 10 days, but if staying on the International Space Station, they are months long. This is when it becomes critical that the effects of the weightless environment are minimized. It becomes even more important when we consider trips to Mars and beyond, which means traveling in low or no gravity for months or even years. The spherical trainer is used to emulate similar sensory conditions to those experienced during spaceflight. Large overhead projectors display a montage of computer-generated patterns that fill the subject's field of view. It is the movement of these patterns that eventually fools the subject into thinking that he or she is moving, not the image. Once it is exposed to a variety of pre-programmed visual cues, the brain can recalibrate itself, in this case, like one that is found in space. The human body is very versatile and adaptable, being capable of conforming to many environments, even space. When members of the Skylab 4 crew returned to Earth after nearly three months in orbit, their first steps were tenuous. And they did readapt, but it took time. Today, when astronauts return from space, they undergo evaluations so that researchers can better understand this process. Over the next decade, this research will be critical in better preparing man's long-term commitment to space.